Welcome. In this short tutorial, we're going to cover how you can track EU duty and rest requirements with Log10 Pro X. With regard to flight and duty limitations, OPS 1.1100, both the monthly and yearly limits can be tracked in Log10 Pro X using limit groups. The 28 day limit is set as a default when you open Log10 Pro X for the first time. To see it, first tap on Radar, then on Plan. To view how the group is set up, tap on the group and then on edit. This is how the 28 day limit has been set up. The 12 month limit is also set as a default and its setup looks like this. In order for these limits to track correctly, you must fill in the duty section of your logbook. To ensure these fields are visible, turn them on by tapping on any flight in your logbook section, then tap the actions button in the top right then tap on Configure Fields, then scroll down to the Duty section and tap Configure Section. Here you can see that we already have On and Off Duty turned on, and we'll turn Total Duty on as well. Now we'll head back to the Plan tab in Radar and set up the groups. For 60 flight duty period hours in any consecutive 7 days, tap the plus button in the top left, choose New Limits Group, then add a name for the group. Set in last to 7 days, in next to 24 hours, set the flags to 60, 14, and 7, then tap configure and set category to duty, key to total duty, operator to less than or equal to, and the value to 60. Done. For 190 flight duty period hours in any consecutive 28 days, tap the plus button in the top left and choose New Limits Group. Then add a name for the group. Set In Last to 28 days, In Next to 24 hours, set the flags to 190, 30, and 15. Then tap Configure and set Category to Duty, Key to Total Duty, operator to less than or equal to, and value to 190. Done. Now let's look at maximum daily flight duty period. The maximum basic daily flight duty period is 13 hours. These 13 hours will be reduced by 30 minutes for each sector from the third sector onwards with a maximum total reduction of 2 hours. There is also an exception allowing a one-hour extension. The time loop bar in the Plan tab of the Radar section is the best way for a pilot to see their live flight duty time. The duty bar shows the current scheduled duty period time as 7 hours and 7 minutes. Assuming no schedule changes, the current duty day would comply with the maximum flight duty period limit assuming a three-sector day. Under Duty Period, you can see an elapsed time of 5 hours and 21 minutes and a time remaining of 1 hour and 45 minutes for a planned duty day of 7 hours and 7 minutes. The minimum rest which must be provided before undertaking a flight duty period starting at home base shall be at least as long as the preceding duty period or 12 hours, whichever is the greater. The minimum rest which must be provided before undertaking a flight duty period starting away from home base shall be at least as long as the preceding duty period or 10 hours, whichever is greater. The amount of rest between each duty period is now easily discernible in the new Log10 Pro time loop feature on the plan page of the Radar tab. It is important to note that rest periods are predicated on the on-duty off-duty fields and not the FDP fields. By filling out your off and on duty times for the day, Log10 Pro will automatically calculate your rest before duty and use this time on the new Log10 Pro timeline showing if you have legal rest for the evening. In the above example, we are undertaking a flight duty period away from home base and the amount of preceding duty is 7 hours and 7 minutes. So we are within the required rest limits with 10 hours and 24 minutes of planned rest. Finally, Log10 Pro now allows you to track the following requirement. An operator shall ensure that the minimum rest provided is increased periodically to a weekly rest period, being a 36-hour period 
including two local nights, such that there shall never be more than 168 hours. To set this up, click the plus button in the top left of the radar plan section, then choose new currency group, input a name for the group, set in last to 168 hours, in next to 24 hours, then set the flags to 168, 12, and 1. Then tap configure and choose category duty, key consecutive rest, operator greater than or equal to, and the value at 36. Done. This is now being tracked. More information and examples can be found in the knowledge base article which is linked to from the information below this video. And of course, if you have any questions about tracking EU duty and limits ops requirements or indeed any other feature of Log10 Pro X, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by tapping more, then help, then contact support. Thanks for watching.